What's up everybody? Welcome back to our second channel, the Mustache Bros Wrestling Channel. Happy to have you, of course. Can't forget, come on now. This is our first predictions video we have on the channel. We've done a couple of them over on the Lumberland channel, but we're bringing them right here to you on MBW. Yep. Um, I heard, saw a bunch of comments, people. MB Dub. MB Dub. MB Dub. MB Dub. MB Dub. I love that. Today, Dante, it is WrestleMania season. Yes, it is. WrestleMania is in a couple days. We're filming this on the Wednesday after Raw. So things should be pretty like settled. I don't really yeah. expect anything to change on SmackDown in a couple days. We're doing nights one and two yes, of WrestleMania. Both that's what nights. they do now. We have a lot of matches to talk about. We have a, about. Lot, of a lot of matches to matches. talk about. We're going to go through them. Some of the lower matches we're going to kind of not spend as much time on. Yep. And obviously, Dante is the current reigning and defending predictions champion coming off of the AEW Revolution video we have on the Lumberland channel. Belt is on the line today. Belt is, belt on, is the line. on the line. First time I think we've defended a belt in a little bit. Before we get into the WrestleMania card, if you guys could hit subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications, Leave a comment with all your predictions. We want to know what you think. We read all the comments. We see it. If you have a game, send it to us. Emails right here. We're also looking for an intern, a wrestling intern to help us do research, record videos, edit some stuff. Um, it is remote, but all the information for that is in the description. Good Dante, luck. good luck. Oh yeah, right. Because right. this is belt on the line. Yep. We're right. having fun here, but I think mine's perfect. I don't think I, I think got so? one wrong. I think I think I'm gonna have a clean sweep. All right. We're gonna start with night one, the Saturday night of WrestleMania. The first match I have on here is the Raw Women's Championship. Yep. Becky Lynch, the champion, versus Bianca Belair. What, what do you think? I, I think. The this is one of the best, if not the best, uh, build-up feuds yep, for WrestleMania on the card. This goes back to SummerSlam. Becky Lynch returned. Yep. Took the belt from Bianca in 30 seconds. People were, Was that SummerSlam or was that yeah, last WrestleMania? That was SummerSlam because she was gone because she was uh, she was gone. Yeah. She had a kid and everything like that. Um, so SummerSlam, yeah, who has kids nowadays? So she took the belt from Bianca. It's like a long story that they're telling here. Bianca cut off Becky's hair. Well, some of it. Not. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I like the idea of it. But like, I, if it was the other way around, it would be a lot more like impactful yeah. towards the story. But she uh, also didn't cut off like that much hair. Yeah, like Becky was like selling it, which like I appreciate it, but like. It wasn't that. I think I think we're gonna see her come out with like a whole new hairdo. Yeah, probably. Like come, uh, come mania. Um, but as Who far as have? who's winning, I'm going Bianca here. Me too. I'm going Bianca. I think that this is a this would be a massive win for her. Mm -hmm. Um, she won last year. She beat I believe it was Sasha Banks. Um, for the SmackDown Women's Title, beating Becky Lynch. I think that would be a huge accomplishment for her career. Um, and set her on the trajectory of being you know the best female wrestler on the roster. So I'm going Bianca. I am also going Bianca. I don't see the end of this feud. This mm -hmm. is a very, they haven't really had them. They haven't really had like an official match yet. I see Bianca winning this. Yep. I see Becky kind of spiraling into this crazy character with like, you know, the hair getting cut off and, you know, she loses the title. That's the only thing she cares about. Yada, yada. So I see them taking this into WrestleMania backlash and like um, some pay reviews down the line. So I sure. think this is the start of the feud. And I also have Bianca winning. Cool. All right. Next match. Up. We got uh, Miz and Logan Paul versus the Mysterios. Uh, I'm optimistic about this. I think Logan Paul actually might not be terrible. I, yeah. I, I think he, I honestly think he could fit in to what's going on with WWE, just like character wise, everyone hates him. And if he's got some skills in the ring, I mean, that's to be seen. But um, we're going to see a him versus Pat McAfee match eventually. Oh my, he could. Definitely could. I'm going Mysterios, though. Yeah, me too. Uh, Logan, Logan Paul doesn't need to win this. It, yep. it doesn't need to happen. It's cool, I guess. You have the uh, the Hollywood guy. You have the big YouTube guy that people know on the card. Yeah. But There's not. no way Ray is going to get his mask ripped off by Logan Paul no. and then have him not win it with his son. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. I don't Mysterious. have much else to say about it, but Mysterios. Right. Next one. Seth Rollins versus TBA, which is pretty much more than announces Cody Rhodes. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yep. Um, let's just That's assume it's Cody. Now. Yep. If it's someone else, maybe it's John Cena. Who knows? Who, who knows who it's going to be? Could be Peacemaker. We Could don't be know. Peacemaker. We don't know. For the sake of it, we're pretty sure it's Cody Rhodes. Um, I have Cody Rhodes slash TBA winning it. Uh, you know, they're kind of setting it up where it's just going to be Seth in the ring, and then, you know, Vince is going to announce the opponent day of, or not even day of, like right when it happens, Cody's going to come out. What I'm curious about is I think, I wonder if they're going to have a match or not. Like I want, mm. By that, I mean, like, I want, are they going to are they gonna have a good match, or is Cody like just going to come out, like beat the out of them yeah right i'm very curious what we're gonna get out of it but 
I see Seth losing. I also have Cody Rhodes filled mm-hmm. in. I have Cody Rhodes winning. But I will say, if WWE decides to trick everyone and have someone else come out, wow, it'll be will rough. they receive backlash? Yeah. I saw something that said Shane McMahon might be in town for WrestleMania. There's I no swear way. to God, if Shane McMahon's the one that comes out and fights Seth Rollins, that place, people are going to be walking out. I also, Especially if they ha- if they do this early or like in the middle of the show, it's going to ruin the rest will, of the show. The, ru- the mood would be absolutely mm-hmm. ruined the rest of the show. Um, but I think that they're smart enough to not do that. I could also see someone else coming out, like Elias coming out or something. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then it's just like, yeah. this isn't him. Like Seth Rollins piece of shit out of him. And then like Cody Rhodes actually comes out. Um, but I do think it's Cody Rhodes and yep. Cody's winning. Work. He can't lose his first match back. It's it, it just can't happen. All right, next one. Go for it. Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. Drew McIntyre. Yeah, also Drew. I have nothing to say about this. Boring I, feud, man. Get I think, Drew out of here. I think, I think Corbin is very boring. Mm-hmm. Not even to the point of like... Like, oh, I hate him because he's a heel. I just think he's like a boring wrestler, mm-hmm. a boring character. I I don't know why WWE holds on to him so much. Um, Drew, I think we're yeah. the same so far, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, next match. SmackDown Tag Team Championships. The Usos, who are the champions, versus Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura. I have the Usos. I also have the Usos. I yeah. want... Rick Boogs and Nakamura. Mm-hmm. They're cool. I, I like the little, the little team they got going on there. And to be honest, most of the reason I'm choosing the Usos is because I have Bianca, Mysterios, Cody Rhodes, Drew winning before this. You know what I mean? All, yeah. They need some heels. All faces. They yeah. need some heels. They need some um, title defenses. So I think to balance it out for just solely that reason. They're also on a hot streak. I mean, the Usos are one of the best tag teams in wrestling right now. Mm-hmm. I really do like Boogs and Nakamura. Yeah. I, think I really like great them. Great chemistry together. Yeah, great I, don't, I just don't see them as the champs. Not yet. yet. Not on WrestleMania. Yeah. I think you still got to build up the bloodline. You got to make them as yep. legit as possible. Agreed. And losing to Rick Boogs, I don't I don't think legitimizes yeah. that stable. But yeah. I'm excited for the match, though. I think it'll be I a think, sleeper match. Yeah, I think sure. it'll be good. I mean, Shinsuke Nakamura is great, yep. too. So next one, Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This one could go either way. This one I genuinely think could go either way because just knowing how WWE is with Charlotte, um, it would not shock me if they let her defend the belt. And how they are with Ronda. But how they are with Ronda is I can't – she's just this unbeatable force. She's only been pinned once. Exactly. Which was at WrestleMania three years ago, two, three years ago. Mm. I I can't see her losing. Uh, She just returned a few months ago, won the Royal Rumble. Also, this is not a hot match. Like this, I'm not like, looking for There's it. no build I don't up. think the build there's up no, was great at no. all. I really don't. And um, it could have been. There's history behind these two. I think they could have done a lot mm-hmm. with this, but I think this is kind of just like the road, just like one of the stops on the road to Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch at some point. Yeah. Are you in on Ronda? I, don't I like her. I like. I, think, I like her. Like I remember. I remember when we did the live stream. Uh, Russ would text me and said that like, he didn't like Ronda. Like she just doesn't seem like. Shout out RBK. Shout out RBK. Just doesn't like seem like she flows in the ring. Just doesn't like. Oh, I disagree. That, but I don't agree with that. I, I think, think like good. she just brings that legitimate like fight feel to mm-hmm. it. Like she's an MMA fighter. She's one of the best female mm-hmm. fighters of all time. She's not supposed to be a professional wrestler. She's not supposed to be doing flips mm-hmm. and doing like all these things. Like she's there to beat the crap out mm-hmm. of people. And I think she does that well. So. With that said, who do you have? Ronda Rousey. I have Charlotte. You have Charlotte? Okay, have Charlotte. first disagreement. All right, good. All right. <laughs> so cool. we're not going to just tie. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I, I don't see Ronda losing. It, it wouldn't shock me if she did, but I, I don't think they should let her lose. Yeah. I guess my main point on that is like, I don't know, just the build's not there. Yep. I think um, they can make I a, could see it go either way, really. They can make a storyline out of her losing and just yeah. kind of like building. A, I don't know. They could do, they could go either way. They really could. Yeah, there's really... Really, that's that's I guess that's really all I have to say about it is it could go either way. The coin flip I'm choosing is just Charlotte. Missed opportunity with the build up. They could have yeah, made it a lot better. I agree. We also have in day one, which isn't I, I don't know if we're counting this as a match, but Stone Cold Steve uh, Austin appears yes. on the Kevin Owens yes, show. Yes, yes, yes. If we want to, we don't have to count it. But what I was gonna say is like if you wanted to count it, is you could do like who's gonna walk away from it? Who's gonna be the person to beat up who? I think it's gonna, be, it's gonna be Stone, Stone Cold. Cold. Yeah. yeah, we just don't want to count this as a thing. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. that's fine. Yeah, Stone Cold. That's gonna be awesome. Awesome. I think that's actually going to be the main event. That's what people are saying. I think it actually that's what people might are be saying. the main event, which is crazy, but I'm down for that. Who, I mean, who wants to follow a Stone Cold return? 
you can't. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. WrestleMania night two. After this, I'm curious what you think on what night's better. Oh, night one. Night one's okay. Night one has the Becky match. Mm -hmm. Seeing, I, I mean, I'm a big, I'm a big Rey Mysterio guy. He's my favorite wrestler. Yep. So seeing him is good. The Cody Rhodes return is going to be nuts. Yeah. The tag match is going to be fun. The Ronda Rousey match is a Ronda Rousey appearance. Right, right. Stone Cold, Stone Cold. Right, right. Anyway, I think they did an okay job, kind of splitting it up a little mm -hmm. bit. First one we got. It's probably the most exciting match of the night. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think the one that everyone's clamoring to see. It's the reason people are buying tickets for the second night. Yep. Bobby Lashley versus Omos. Yep. yep. I mean, this is this is going to be one yep. of the best matches in WrestleMania history. This is not like, thrown together. This at is all. like Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant <laughs> WrestleMania three. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't know what. I don't care why. Why I don't care as well. Um, I'm not in on Omos. I don't I, care about. Omos. I don't care. I don't. I don't either. believe that he's good. Like I know they're trying to build him up as this like like you know he hasn't even been knocked off his feet yet and he's yeah. so big and powerful. Yeah. I don't see it. I think they're trying to make him like a great Kali type of thing. Yeah, he's just so slow in the ring and yep. it's just like it's not exciting. There's yep. no character. It's just a big guy in the ring throwing guy. I don't know. It's not entertaining with, to me. With that said, who do you have? I have Omos. I have Omos too. Because yeah. I just... like. I plan on being disappointed. If, <laughs> yeah, like if you're trying to make build the scap as this big monster, you're going to have him lose. If you lose to Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania... With no build -up. All his credibility is out the window. Yeah. Out the window. Which so, I could see them doing that. And like Bobby Lashley <laughs> shouldn't lose. I don't even think he should be on this card. I don't even think he should be the one fighting him. Because Agreed. like him losing hurts him. Yeah. But it would hurt Omos a lot more. More, um, in my opinion. So I got Omas, and I'm not looking forward to it mm -hmm. at all. This is like a like a bathroom break match, or like <laughs> we're gonna be on live looking through the comments or something like that. You know what I mean? You got Omas too. I got Omas. Yeah. All right. Who cares? Let's go <clears throat> next match. We got RK Bro versus Street Profits versus Alpha Academy for the Raw Tag Team Titles. I think another match that's gonna be like a low key. Like, I think this could be banger. a banger. I think yeah. this could be a banger. I mean, Street Profits are great. Montez Ford is awesome. Yeah. He'll, he'll do some high flying yep. stuff. Chad Gable's great. RK Bro, awesome. Yep. I love the tandem there. Um, I have RK Bro, RK Bro winning. Excuse me. Um, they just won the belts back recently. I think they are one of the hottest things in wrestling right now. I yeah. think it's just one of the best things WWE has going for them. And I don't think you know. I they're just doing so well. I, I don't see them losing mm. this match. I think they're going to retain. Yeah, I I don't have much else to say about that. I also have RK Bro. Mm -hmm. Same exact reason. I think this is going to be one of the one of the WrestleMania moments. Just like good time, yep. boom, RK Bro wins. Riddle and Orton hug and confetti, uh, you know, comes out and da da da. I can see. Can you see Orton turning? See, that's the only way I can see them losing is if they lose and then he turns on Riddle after the match or something like that. Yeah, I think it's too early. Like, yeah, that's agreed. such a good thing right now. You can do so has so much more potential. Like, don't don't do it. Yet. Be They're going to do it, but turn, like, don't yeah. do it now. And I also think Randy Orton's going to do a crazy RKO. They're going to do something. Yeah, like so what Montez do you think? Ford or something like that. Oh, you know what it's going to be? I, I, I'll call it right now. Montez Ford is going to do that fucking huge frog, frog splash, splash that he does. RKO. That's I, exactly yep. what it's going to be. Yep, I can definitely see that. Next match, Sami Zayn versus Johnny Knoxville. I think this could be a fun little match, to be honest with you. Just as a growing up as a huge, just like jackass, yeah. Nitro Circus, like MTV kid. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to it because I, I want to see what Johnny Knoxville yeah. has because he's a madman. He he's going to bump for Sammy. They're going to do something sure. crazy. I mean, Sammy Zayn himself is a maniac when given the opportunity. Mm -hmm. I think there's, I think they have potentially could do some wild spots. Ultimately, I have Sammy Zayn winning. There's no reason for Knoxville to beat Zayn. Knoxville is the type of guy where he's going to go in and he's going to ask to lose. Yeah. Knoxville doesn't want to win. Yeah, he doesn't need the know? attention or anything um, like that at all. I don't have much to say about it. I just think it's going to be it's, it's, a, it's a fun celebrity match. Yep. I hope Zayn wins because I like Sammy and I think he can go on and um, move on from this spot. But yeah, who do you got? I also have Sammy Zayn mm -hmm. winning. Um, I agree. It's like, I think this match could be really fun. Johnny Knoxville, obviously, we know what his career has been like. I yep. don't think he minds getting the crap beaten out of him or just being his body being mm -hmm. thrown around. Um, I do think Sami Zayn will win because it makes the most sense. And again, a celebrity doesn't need to win here, kind of yep. like with Logan Paul. But I can see Sami winning and then like a happy ending, like maybe some jackass I was guys just gonna come say, out. 
yeah, yeah. And like they just like yeah. beat up. Sami There's Zayn. no way Steve O doesn't make an appearance. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, so I think he acts. So at the Royal Rumble, remember when he came out? And other Jackass guys came out. Yeah, Jasper was. Steve O was supposed to be there, but he got COVID, so he oh, couldn't really? be there. So oh. if he's COVID free, I can see him. Being that would be there great. As well. Yeah. So. I'm really looking. I don't know. I don't know how people are feeling about this match. I think it's fine. I mean, I I don't think Johnny Knoxville's taking anything away from anyone. No. I think like the feud makes sense. The feud's been going on for months, yep. and again, Johnny Knoxville is professional. Like as far as being thrown mm-hmm. around and stuff, I think it could be a lot better than people are making it out. Agreed. All right, we really are lining up with most of these. We are. Yeah. Um, well, ho- hopefully here's another we'll, one. I think uh, we're gonna line up with. So we said the Omos match is gonna be the match of the night. This one though, I forgot Austin Theory yep. was on the card. Yep. Yeah. We got Pat McAfee versus <laughs> Austin Theory. I have Pat McAfee. Austin Theory isn't really anything to me. I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I'm not excited about him. I don't see a reason for Pat. Well, I see a reason for Pat McAfee to lose because mm-hmm. if they're if 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 Austin Theory is Vince's guy, which it kind of seems like he is, I could see Austin beating Pat McAfee, and I don't know. That's something i don't sure. know i don't know i don't again i don't have much to say about this match yeah so i'm staying consistent kind of like going based off what i was saying with the knoxville logan paul i have austin theory winning oh okay i don't i like i know pat mcafee isn't technically a celebrity in comparison to logan yeah. and and knoxville because pat mcafee is in the wwe like he does like he announces for smackdown right. and stuff and he's unbelievable at that yeah i think it's great but like you said it like Theory is Vince's guy if they're trying to build Austin Theory up as being like one of the next like generational talents for WWE which I do believe he uh, it's looking like that's the direction he's going down he can't lose a Wrestlemania match to Pat McAfee if it was against someone else maybe I think it'll be a decent match Pat McAfee's actually like really good in the ring yeah Um, I'm looking forward just to seeing Pat Pat, I'm more I I thought when I'm watching this match I'm focused on Pat McAfee not as much Austin Theory I'm not saying I'm a fan of Theory or like like, you know, I'm a big supporter of him, but I do think he's going to win theory. So Interesting. I, to be honest, I think you're right. I'm staying Pat McAfee, mm-hmm. but like, yeah. I, yeah, I can see some BS happening and Pat McAfee wins too. Um, All right, next match. We got a four-way for the women's tag team titles, the most prestigious championship in all of wrestling. <laughs> um, we got uh, Queen Zelina mm-hmm. and Carmella versus Natalia and Shayna Baszler versus Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan versus Sasha and Naomi. Wow, is this going to be a barn burner. <laughs> I am going with Sasha and Naomi. Oh, me too. Because it makes the most sense. They're the two biggest names in the match. Yeah. By a mile. Naomi hasn't done it a lot, if anything at all, recently in the last few years. I it puts belts on Naomi it, and it Sasha. It puts belts. I think it, you're, if you want to gain any relevance to the championships, putting it on Sasha is a great way of doing yeah. that. I'm not saying that they're going to become these belts everyone's going to want to go for after this, but I think it's better to have it on them than Zelina and Carmella if they've done nothing with them. I think so. there, was, there was a podcast I was listening to. Um, shout out the post-wrestling guys. I think they were talking about just how funny it is around WrestleMania season. Like, no one cares about the women's tag ch- titles until like four weeks before WrestleMania yep. when they're like, yep. oh, I need a spot on WrestleMania. Let me go for something. Yep. And then, you know, yep. someone yep. just finds something to go it for. It was originally. Same thing with the IC belt. Same thing right. with the. Yep. Wait, is the IC belt not even being defended on Mania? As of right now, no. Because Ricochet has a match on. Ricochet is defending it on SmackDown. <sighs> they have. They're doing the Andre the Giant Memorial on SmackDown this week. They're not even doing oh, it at WrestleMania. Oh, jeez. Yeah. The United States belt with Finn Balor isn't on the card and neither is Ricochet. Wow. I, I didn't do realize think that. I do think they might add a match because Priest they and, have to. Priest and Balor have a little thing going on yeah. now, so I can see them doing something. At least there. like in the it being in the in the pre show or something. something. Yeah, I do believe those matches that, will be added. The but Intercontinental we don't title isn't being defended currently at Dude, Ricochet won That's the crazy. Ricochet won the belt a few weeks ago and then he lost to um Angel Garza. Yep. And then he lost to Austin Theory in less than two minutes. No, it was uh, Umberto Carrillo, wasn't it? Yes, but on this past oh, Raw, oh, oh, okay. that, that did happen. Um, but this past Raw, I lost to Austin Theory in two minutes. It's like, like Jesus, you have him win the belt and you do nothing with it. It makes, it's stupid. But back to women's wrestling, uh, Sasha and Naomi. It just makes the most yep, sense. Yep, I also have Sasha and Naomi. I mean, look at these other teams. Like, Zelina and Carmella haven't really been built up or anything as the champions. Um, Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan is a nothing team. Um, Natalia and Shayna Baszler is even more of a nothing Half team. The, all these teams, except for Zelina and Carmella, were literally just put together in the last yeah. month. Yeah, hundred percent. Creativity at its finest. Okay. So far, night one, I think, is low-key looking better. Night one's looking better. I agree. Um, however, potential match the night candidate. Yes. Yep. 
Edge versus AJ Styles. Dream match. Horrible build. Yes. I yeah, I think they boring don't. build. I think like like a big part they're they're trying to do is like, oh, we've been we've been rivals this whole time. And it's mm-hmm. just it's I'm not buying it. No I, one's buying I it. I like the whole edge heel turn thing. I like, I like it too. I like the character work. Yep. I do think they shouldn't have had because he did the thing to AJ, the the chair shot, and he was gone for like three weeks. Yeah. It's hard to properly build a WrestleMania feud when the other guy isn't actively there. And then the other week he's there, he's fighting Seth Rollins. And also, AJ is coming off of, like, a weird, goofy heel thing with Omos. Yeah, yeah. Um, with the tag team. Edge is coming off, like, having this heroic victory with his wife. Yep. And then all of a sudden, he's just like, He's whoop. evil now. Yeah. yeah. Build-up's garbage. However, like you said, it could be a, dream match. It could be a banger. I think dream it will be a match. banger. I think it will be, too. I think this is going to be, like, this is going to be, like, like, the match that, like, Seth Rollins usually has at mm-hmm. Mania, where it's, like, it's the wrestling match. Like, yep. this is... This, this is going to be wrestling. Like, the this, banger. This is going to be a good one. Mm-hmm. I think Edge is going to win. Do you... I have AJ Styles. Okay, I'm glad we differentiate mm-hmm. there. I think Edge is going to win. I just think you can build off of the heel character a lot mm-hmm. um, and AJ Styles I mean I agree he's coming off of a weird run but I don't necessarily think he needs a win I don't mm. think he's like he, he's at the point in his career where like you know AJ Styles could lose for a year straight and then you can throw him in the main event picture and no one but you can say that about Edge you can too. say that about Edge too but I just think the whole new persona of his mm-hmm. is like that's something you need to capitalize off of and sure. build off of so I think him winning here would be you, you, who knows what they can do with that uh-huh. well I do think before, if you don't mind me Go ahead. putting this in play, because this kind of implies implications for the next match that we're yeah. going to get to. The unification match, they're only going to have one belt. Right. I think they're going to have to introduce a second belt, and I think they're going to bring back the big gold world heavyweight belt. I would love and that. Edge, is, it, is, is this what you really think, or is this your fever This dream? is my f- a more dream, okay, but okay, I do okay. think there's a, a chance that could happen, because I think if Edge wins at WrestleMania, he's going to set himself up to being he brings gold back after the gold he belt. He brings back the rated R spinner belt. <laughs> that, too, that too. Unify those belts. But um, no, I can see him like winning this and going after the new world championship. And if it's a big gold that. belt... God, that'd be Absolutely. sick. Absolutely. Yep. I love that. I that's love my, that's that. just my, my hope, my dream. Yeah. I don't know if that's... I like that dream. I like like that dream. I like I like you putting putting that on the table. Thank you. Um, I have AJ for kind of opposite reasons. I think he does need the win. Mm -hmm. I think I can see AJ being now that he's done with the tag team thing and whatever. I can see AJ being put back into the main event spotlight. Um, I think Edge is already there. Also, Edge I think is a little older, and I think Edge Edge is more of like which he is full time now, but like he is kind of like the more legend legend and like special match. Sure. You know, Mm -hmm. AJ I think is still more ingrained into like he's part of the current roster mm-hmm. he's not like on a legend status he's like ingrained in the main rotation sure right? yeah so i see i see edge putting over aj aj gets bumped back into that um spot yep. and then kind of like you said with edge competing for a world title whatever they're gonna do yeah. that's a really interesting con we don't have to touch on it now but like that's an interesting conversation what like what are they gonna do yeah because because they're gonna unify the they're belt. gonna unify it, the belt it's not a defending each one like they are right they're confirm that it's going to become one bell. Um, and it's I don't like, know if they'll show. I don't know if they'll bring it out at WrestleMania or wait a few. They'll days. probably do a thing where, like, you know, for like months they'll carry both belts. Mm-hmm. That's I, that's my guess. Could They're just going to carry yeah, both for belts. For sure. But this, this match is 50 50 too. Like, this could go either way. AJ the, and Edge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. one could go either way. Yeah, going back to the belt. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll have to uh, have that's a little really conversation about that, what we think is going to happen. And I mean, I like, I don't think they're going to do that because I think they're so ingrained. Like, we need the big logo on yeah. the thing, and we're not going to go back to like the good stuff that was in the past. But yeah. um, anyway, let's move on to the main event. This, Hit me. I have been wanting this match since like pre Royal Rumble. <laughs> You yeah. called this title a long time ago. Title versus title. Yeah. Roman Reigns putting up the Universal Championship against Brock Lesnar putting up his WWE Championship. Mm-hmm. Belt for belt. This is the money match. There is so much history They're here. They're putting all their chips in. They are putting everything on the line here. They are building this up to be one of the best WrestleMania main events ever. See, what I, WWE does this a lot where they like, they already call it the biggest mania event. You know, like, yeah. they're, like they already just name the stuff like, this is the best match ever. Yes. This is the you, best match and ever. And if you do that, you're just setting si- <laughs> yeah. such high expectations to not reach them. But you have, Roman had a, an unbelievable promo in Raw this past week talking about how the one thing, he's accomplished 
everything there is in this business yep. except beating Brock at WrestleMania. Yep. And that's the one thing that pisses him off. Lost him at 31. Seth Rollins cashed in. So technically, it was like a triple threat, but he got pinned. Fought again at 34. Brock Lesnar busted him open, retained the Universal yep. belt. And now, I think just the characters are all different now. It's yep. swapped. Roman's the heel. Brock's the face. It was, I, it's, this works much better. It works yeah. much better, I think. I have to go with Roman Reigns winning this match. It could go... This is another one that could go either way, right? But I think if WWE wants to present Roman Reigns as one of the best wrestlers of all time, which is what he's been calling himself the GOAT, right. saying he's in God mode and yeah, stuff Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I like the God you mode You cannot thing. be doing that stuff and have him lose to the one guy he can't yep. beat. It doesn't make sense from a long-term standpoint. If you want to build up Roman Reigns as being this monster, this beast, this the, the, the guy, the guy that everyone wants to beat, whatever, you can't have him lose this match. Um, so I'm, I'm going Roman. It has to, it has to be Roman. It has to be. I'm also going Roman Reigns. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So I don't think it's as 50-50 because imagine Brock winning, right? Brock has been pretty full time for the past couple months, Which right? I love. He appears on Raw. Yep. He's been appearing on SmackDown. I don't see that lasting much longer. Mm -hmm. So imagine if Brock got now now. If Brock wins, Brock has both belts for both shows, mm -hmm. and now he has an ob I mean, like, they've done it before where he's he was the champion and he wouldn't defend it for three months. Right, They've right. done it before, so of course they could do it again. Yep. But I think Roman's going to win, so now they have a guy there who's always there, can always defend it. Yep. Brock's probably going to go off and, you know, maybe go back to MMA or whatever, do do his usual stint of coming and going. Yep. I just don't see Brock sticking around for much longer after this, or at least in this current run that he's right. on. So, yeah. Roman. And then, let me say this, and I think you you might be on the same page as me, but picture this, right? Okay, I'm picturing it. Roman Reigns wins, uh -huh. defeats Brock Lesnar, yep. Brock's busted open. Yep. Right, I think oh, they're for sure yeah, going to do that. Oh, yeah, he's got to draw blood. They're going to do yep. that. Blood for blood. They're going to bust yep. him open. Roman Reigns, both titles up in the air. Yeah. Usos come out. They're Big the tag champions. Yeah. Big celebration. I mean, I that would be it would be insane. That would be one of the best endings to a WrestleMania because that the crowd reaction. Would, I'm getting chills I, now. I would the crowd reaction. I would freak out if that happened. Having Stone Cold genuinely. on night one, The Rock coming to face uh, Roman or to challenge Roman, and what it's gonna be is gonna be another one of those like I challenge you next, next year, year at WrestleMania because next year and they build that up for a year like they did with the John Cena and yep. Rock thing. Yep. 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 Yep, I'm all, I'm all, for, yes, I'm all for it. Yeah, you sold me. I'm all for that because I, uh, mm, it's a little that, bit of fantasy booking going on now. Fantasy but. booking, but at the same time, not really because it's the whole bloodline, it's the whole family thing, it's the yeah. whole Roman Reigns, like the head of the table. Like I'm in charge of the family, and Rock's like, right, eh, eh, eh. right. It's, I'm the, it's, I'm the it's head of the family here. Perfect. Everything's leading up to it, and then they can do like the Usos are like, oh, who do I side with? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, this is the yeah, Rock. They could. The Rock is the reason I'm here, and yep. then Roman's stepping up to be the tribal yep. chief. No, I'm the tribe. It's perfect. It makes sense. I hope I hope they do. I just hope all I, I think all that depends on is if the rock signs a contract. Yeah. Or if the rock I signs mean, on if he it. does like I, if he did like the one match deal for yep. WrestleMania next year, I think that would be his last. I can see him like being like I'll put over my cousin and I'm I'm, yeah. I'm done, which makes God, that would be a lot so of sense good. because now it's it's WrestleMania Hollywood next year. So you know they're going to have like, Oh, they got to do it. It's it perfect. It makes the most sense. God, and, we're genius. and guess this. Okay, so Roman Reigns wins, he's the champ. Let's say he's the champ for like until SummerSlam something like that. How does he lose the belt? Guess who comes out at the end of one pay-per-view and costs him the match? The Rock. Mm -hmm. Even even makes the feud even better, even juicier. I mean, I could that could definitely they be gotta have the belt. Up. It could yeah. be a match, but it like, could just be a regular have... match. I think it would. I think it would be uh, like more um, enticing with the belt on the line. Yeah. But I also think like you know Roman would win that match. You know, if the belt yeah, on the line, yeah, no, I think fair. you just kind of know that's how fair. the ending is going to be because Rock isn't going on another world title run. So if yeah. it's like no belt on the line, it's kind of like oh maybe the Rock can get an upset win here yeah. but if the belt's on the line it's like eh it's just an, another match yeah. but regardless I do uh, see that happening I would love Wouldn't that if be the nuts? Rock hit the crowd would go 
in I think insane. I think it would be double of what the Hardy's return was. Could it uh, would be Oh my god. Crazy. Because it just the the, the it makes sense cuz the feud, the storyline yeah. it it's perfect. It's and the song, perfect. I mean, we're you know, we talk a lot about the theme songs, but just like the thing that the if you smell Instant. Pop. Yep. Um, absolutely. The roof would blow. I don't even know if there's a roof. If there's a roof, it's yeah, gone. Not sure. It's gone at this point. Those are our WrestleMania 38 predictions. Night one and night two. We had a lot um, of uh, same picks, but we also had a few different ones. Yeah. It's gonna matches, really just so. come down to like those handful of matches that we differ, which right. is fine. I mean, I don't want us to lie. Thank you guys for watching. Again, please leave your comments down below with your picks. We're really curious what you think. Um, do a little fancy booking like we did. Yeah. Let us know all your thoughts. We read the comments. We're really curious what you guys think again all the information for the internship and also where you can send us games is going to be in the description um down below patreon putting up uh exclusive video content not only wrestling stuff but a lot of just lumberland and general stuff is over there including an like, exclusive podcast and blah 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 all that is over there because it is wrestlemania season we did a crazy live stream for the royal rumble and guess what we are back we're not sure yet what day nope. it's either going to be day one or day two but stay tuned it'll be on um the Instagram Lumberland HQ in the YouTube community on the Lumberland channel. We'll put it on here. You guys will know. Um, either way, it'll be on the Lumberland channel. It won't be on this channel. It'll be on the Lumberland channel for yep. the live stream. So go over there. More information will come out. We're just still not sure which day works the best. With that said, Dante, we're put, again, we're putting the predictions belt on the line. As always, good luck, sir. Good luck to you, my brother. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Happy WrestleMania season. Happy see you this weekend. Happy WrestleMania season. Boop.